welcome back, you filthy Valorant casuals, to the Collegian Valorant League, hosted by the Gamers EDU, hosted by me. I'm your part-time host slash full-time solo queue, Instalock Reyna, Queen McRib. We are officially one day away to the end of the CVL, which means that we are one day away from finding out who the heck is going to be crowned the California Kings of Valorant. And it could even be one of the teams that are playing tonight. We do have three matches lined up for you guys tonight, starting off with CSUN Red versus CSUDH Burgundy. Then following that, we'll be watching CSULV versus SFSU. And then bringing up the rear is CSUF Red versus SJSU. So we have some stacked matches for you guys tonight that you're not gonna wanna miss. And before we get into them, I do want to remind you, I say this every stream, I've said this every stream for the last like four weeks, please, please, please be nice in chat. I am not your mom. I shouldn't have to tell you and remind you to be nice on the internet, but please be nice on the internet. Our players deserve it, our community deserves it, and we deserve it. So please be positive, be respectful in chat, and uh, you can talk trash, just don't be trash, okay? Uh -huh. And now, <laughs> I'm super excited to announce your casters for match one, Eli the Curry and the OG Ben. What's up, you guys? Voila! Hello, oh, everybody. Doing good tonight. We are heading into a Wednesday evening, as McRib mentioned, the regular season nearly at an end. Everything is uh, jacking around in positions as we find out which teams will be playing in the uh, Immortal Bracket playoff uh, standings and which one will be playing in the Diamond bracket standings these two teams here are looking to be on diverging paths right now uh csun red sitting looking like they'll be on their way heading into that immortal bracket while dominguez hills burgundy near the bottom of the table looks like they'll be looking down at the diamond bracket but regardless of which bracket the teams will be playing in they want momentum heading into this uh bent we know the teams we know we're going to go up against see burgundy versus uh northridge red we know that the two teams are kind of in different paths right now, but I want to ask you, what do you think we're about to see as far as, you know, uh, you know, maybe the outcome or just what are you looking forward to in this upcoming match? I mean, I'm, of course, looking forward to an onslaught, a slaughter, a bloodbath. An onslaught of right. slaughter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I'm looking forward to, is, although... Um, to say who's like maybe going to pull it off or who's going to win just from looking at you know the standings see sun red is in, in is in the lead 6-6 six, six. well hopefully it's updated so i might be reading the wrong thing but right now they are in the they do have the the more points on their side they are a pretty strong team as we did see them on monday that we did play uh yeah i'm going to have to i i if anything i'll have to go see sun red side with taking it though Fair enough, fair I can't. Enough. I I can't do the points anymore because it, it's always off. I'm not. I'm just gonna go for the side. And the very precise guess know. is to say exactly how many rounds one team is gonna win. That's very very uh specific. Mm -hmm. It's very big brain. I mean, as we do transition to icebox, and if you, if you're not too cold and you want to have someone else watch it with you, cuddle up against. Mm -hmm. This is what we need. Bring your inanimate objects in. Bring your dog. Oh, bring your family. Giant, your mom. Giant stuffed teddy bear or something like that. My 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 teddy bear's name is Brutus, so it's a good name for a bear. Oh, yeah, it's very legal. <laughs> if I did have one, yes, <laughs> it'd be Brutus. Maybe Teddy, could be Teddy. Teddy's a great one as well. Or just name a bear. <laughs> Either right. way, I'm bringing my I'm bringing a man and an object into my stream or this stream, whatever. So y'all should share, like, and subscribe. <laughs> I feel like a YouTuber right now, but yes. Like and subscribe. As we get into this. Please leave the comment. <laughs> Shout outs to our whole spiritual motion where you can get 20% off all products with <laughs> promo code CVL20. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. The goal getting out at the beginning. They're taking out Fidget. As you mentioned, we are on Icebox and it will be uh, Dominguez Hills Burgundy starting out on the defender position. Uh, as you see, Ganbare with three kills in the opening pistol round to get Dominguez Hills Burgundy out to a quick 1 0 lead. BT already cleaning it up. I thought Fidget was going to take this as we did see him play pretty strong last time on Monday. But who knows? Yeah, we it was a uh, it was a back and forth game for uh, Northridge on Monday. They uh, they did and wait, what did they? No, they did not. They did not win. But uh, no. 
they did. They took San Diego State deep into that round, and it was it, it felt really back and forth, as we mentioned. Uh, Northridge Red, the uh, secondary team for Northridge, who is currently still sitting uh, undefeated. Northridge Black, I should say. Uh, so you're looking at a team that would proudly represent almost any other school in this league as like their number one squad, and you know, so they're just they're just practicing well. As you see, Fidget there responding Ooh. to that early Fidget round death get... last round. Yeah, it's fine. Fidget coming off. He's like, he's not dying again. It's out, Sappho, as we see. Baby getting pop shots off as he's... Oh, he's able to take out Pofuse as he got pop shots on himself, but now able to trade it again. And Sagoma so getting three-piece right off back to back to back, then yeah, taken out by Ares. Sagoma doing well there. It looked like he was in a shooting gallery. Just like everybody was standing still as Sagoma just mowed him down one by one. And now he, BT yes, can operate BT. up here. Does he get the quick flick? He gets some pop shots off. Defender's winning because yeah. of the defuse, but there you go. BT then killing Ares. Not allowing him to get any further. Ares kind of just, uh, I don't know, kind of surrendered the idea for that round. Maybe it was too low on health to feel like there was anything to get done there. and Just kind of retreated away. BT on the hunter roll, creating space for Bad Dog to get the defuse. A lovely you know round to win if you are Dominguez Hills Burgundy. You know why BT was able to get those quick flicks off? Because he had compression gloves, kept his hands warm. That's mm. a fact. 100%. No arthritis there. Mm -mm. He put his compression his hands gloves warm. on. Yep. That's it. <laughs> you know, they say cracking your knuckles is actually bad for your fingers. Putting ritual motion gloves on them, though, excellent. Meme approved. It, it makes your cracking knuckles better, I think. I don't know. I can't, I can't promise anything because I'm not a doctor. Yeah. See the trade off there. Sagoma getting one done. You know, we saw we talked about Sagoma a lot at the beginning of the league. I think we we all kind of have had that initial like you know early season crush on Sagoma's play. They were doing well, and we talked about them less. But this has been a good uh. Good Look game at Mad so Dog. Far. Is he this, gonna get four? four? Okay. Oh, was four. Mad Dog going off for sure. Job, able to said. then again carry the team as Ares is now the last one. And Ares low on the health as well. Uh, as you see, that running back ult is up, but this is a tough situation now for Ares, who does not have the spike. He's gonna have to find a way to, you know, either get these two last kills Ooh. or find and their way into that site. Not able to do anything with the run it back. Kind, kind, I feel like it was kind of a waste of an ult if not gonna be able to push out there too far. Yeah, it was kind of weird, right? He he popped it, but then he didn't immediately start moving around. It was kind of a bit of hesitation. 30 seconds left. I know, Ares looks like if they keep looking up there. Oh no, Ooh, PT, I think they would turn it. I think Ares was trying to use it for the, as he did use it for the full health, full health regame. But again, he didn't use it to his advantage and didn't get any information. So in the end, it kind of, it kind of hurt him. It really did. Yeah. And now three rounds straight here for Dominguez Hills Burgundy, who have come out on fire, really just firing on all cylinders as uh, Northridge Red caught kind of flat footed. But uh, we'll have to see what happens here as the uh, fourth round emerges and right now we do see that they are there we go. they have amazing leads right now their momentum is starting off very strong yep so going with there with the raise ult not able to get a kill but there is some damage down as bt Ooh. takes out fidget was cleaning up from beats or uh from uh, sagoma's ult and then the two of them combined for three kills so now just between the two of them and what there was we go. it was it was as over as soon as you started speaking about it. That's that's how that went right there. Okay, right now, now, going into the sixth round, or five, fifth round, my bad, four to zero. Great momentum already on yeah. Burgundy side. Absolutely you know incredible like? start. Go ahead, McGrip. What's cool about playing on Icebox too is like, you know, even though these two teams might, there might be a difference in the standings, I think the fact that this is the newest map, I mean, we've seen in the past, SJSU is one of the, like, top contenders for taking this whole thing, and, like, even playing on this new map really threw a wrench in, like, their play style. So it's interesting to see how both of these teams are, like, adapting and how much they really do know this map. True. As we saw right there, uh, Fidget was able to get a shot there. Fidget has opted in for the operator as Baby takes out Omaru. On the other side, Ares not looking to initiate, but it's Sappho who takes out Spaghetti. So there's a spike carrier down here for Northridge Red as Ares gets Sappho. The rest of his team is falling around him. Sagoma with another round of couple kills. Fidget with his second op kill of the rounds. 
here's BT trying maybe trying to clean it up on you know Jet V Jet. Here we go. As Fidget is just kind of stuck in a corner, not able to move I too far because he does not know where anyone is. Nope, Although since we versus... have the wall hacks, we can see him. Yeah. It's gonna be Fidget versus BT and Baby, and there's Bay taking out Fidget. There's an operator down on the field now. Ganbare or BT will probably pick that up. I think we totally see Sagoma become the operator for uh, for Dominguez Hills Burgundy. We'll see if that is the case here. BT, though, you know, eight kills, no deaths. Maybe, maybe you just hold on to that for yourself, yeah, right? Maybe, maybe it's uh, <laughs> maybe it's time for us to finally say the full name. We might be we might be seeing final form BT <laughs> tonight. And we could be, week. as the last week this does come to a close. I mean, it's as good a time as any to start really turning it on and showing what you're capable of. Uh, you know, Burgundy may have missed their shot, as BT does not miss their shot. Uh, I was going to say, they may have missed their opportunity to get into the upper bracket playoffs, but you definitely still want to be playing on form, as regardless of which bracket you're in, there is definitely a prize to be had. Here we go with here the from, ultimate. Yeah, Baby mm -hmm. now looking to get in very aggressively. And this is what needed to happen with uh who used it? It was Aries. No, I'm mixing up all the names. I think it was Aries, right? For uh, no, it was. Aries. Yeah. It yeah. was? All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still, in that instance, there you saw Baby not able to engage with anybody, but did, you know, it was able to clear those areas. Still, Spaghetti now moving out. There's both views aware of the threat up in heaven. That was they all. Up. That was a fire squad on him. He was not able to get out of that. Yeah. Just like that, they're able to even it up with a clean initiation in the A. Here's Fidget around the corner, it, taken out by Sappho, and Sappho getting two with defenders, then winning it, baby, cleaning it up off Pofuse. Beautiful job there by Sappho holding that corner. First shot around, you gotta love it. If you get that first kill, that's exactly what you're being asked of, and then if you can double up, take somebody else mm -hmm. as the rest of the team follows around the corner, there's icing on the cake. Sappho doing, doing their part now, holding it down on that Killjoy. Not a glamorous agent, I would say. Not really one that gets to initiate often and look the coolest. But when the Killjoy is on, the rest of the team definitely has something to go off of. And right now, Burgundy looks like they are going to go all the way off as they are winning six rounds to zero. Get out of my Start way. out. Look, it's looking very good for them as they are keeping Red's economy down, which is... This is that's how you got to do it. You get, if you keep the other players' economies down, how are they going to be able to come back with full buys? Yeah, yeah. BT did miss the operator shot there. It's curious to me, Northbridge is not walling off that area, right? They've got the uh, the Phoenix. Oh. It's all right there, baby. Yeah, with a, but look at that. Over. BT with two kills, Sagoma, Sappho, and then Sagoma again, clearing yeah. that game out. And I just have to under, I'm, I'm trying, I'm curious, right? Ares is on Phoenix. They have the ability to throw up a wall of fire there to cover their movements and, you know, guard these long sites that an operator will absolutely own. But it's not happening. We haven't seen that. We've seen Omaru, you know, kind of flirting with death, trying to get around that area as uh, BT has been looking down that, that hallway with an operator. And I'm not sure why we're not seeing Ares do that or why Omaru, who also has the ability to flash or their breach, like, they just haven't used any of those abilities to clear this. So you see BT set up again for this shot. You know, it, it's 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 curious to me why we're not seeing the adaptation that we come to expect out of Northridge. Uh, you know, that school has just been strong in general. But uh, I don't know. We're, we have not seen it uh, thus far this game. And as you were pointing out, pointing out that, you know, the other people are not flashing the areas, this map is a lot different. It's more of a straight lane map instead of all the corners. And where the corners do come into play is around the points, but overall, the whole map is pretty open. Really, whoa, wonderful job there by Bay V. You're taking an armor to initiate, but the follow through goes the way of Northridge. Sugoma with another rocket. Not able to get anything with that, sadly. Yeah, no, but it did scatter the attack now. It kind of pushed them a little bit further back. That will buy room for the rest of Domingo Seals to get through as Sappho falls to Ares on the backside. Sagoma aware now that there's an enemy somewhere behind him, but, but not a lot of information. And a 4v2. It's going to be dangerous times. There's a quick scope there from BT. BT with the quick scope. Clip that one. Save that one. That's going on the montage. That That's the clip. <laughs> clip that. Can we get a clip? <laughs> Just like that, with Sagoma on the other end, BT, Sagoma have even this up, and it's going to be down to Spaghetti and Fidget to finally, or Pofuse, I'm sorry, and uh, Fidget to finally get 
Northridge red on the scoreboards as we see the spike is down, but there's still plenty of time for Dominguez Hills to take this slowly as they begin this free take. As Sagoma is a right above the right above it. And Fidget not being unaware. Yep, there's the smoke down. Going, going for the defuse. My goodness, that may have been. And oh, Pope no, is taking Sagoma with the ultimate right there. Yeah, I don't know if that was BT smoke or if it was Fidget smoke. I, I couldn't tell which uh, jet put it down, but it was almost yeah, perfect. <laughs> like we... You know, it makes me think that it was actually uh, Fidget smoke, as we see right now. It looks like BT is just going to accept this one. Will not get greedy and risk losing that operator. Still plenty of uh, still plenty of uh, time left in this half for Dominguez Hills to expand that lead and put their foot down. He doesn't need to go all out for this operator. But uh, I was just gonna say, I think it was fidget smoke just because Pofuse put that explosion down right on the spike as po or, uh, as Sagoma was going for the defuse. So it was almost like a bait, right? Maybe hoping that. Sagoma would just assume that it was BT smoke, and then it was like, oh, cool, you put a smoke down for me to try to get this defuse. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful thing my teammate did. And <laughs> it was a trap or something. We, we don't know exactly know what, right, without hearing them, but I'm almost surprised what it looked Sagoma, like. I'm surprised he didn't pull back when the ultimate was going off, or maybe it was just too quick and he was really just trying to get the defuse. Uh, we don't As know, Fidget but finally Fidget. turning it around on BT with the OP, with the operator. Yeah, that and yes, is... that was also BT's first death in this whole entire yeah. series right now, or in this whole entire game. Yeah. And now it's just like that a switch has been flipped from Northridge Red as they are starting to put this back together. Bay V here on the long flank. Able to take out Omaru, who has had a tough round of it. A long fight there as Ares takes out Bay V. Is this for where we finally get to see a turnaround? Does look to be the case now as the spike is down. Sappho will be operating out of heaven, but you're going to up against at least one operator, maybe two, depending on what they decide to do with the one BT was holding. And it looks like mm. they're just going to say the two weeks <laughs> to that old operator that I don't need anymore. <laughs> Friendship broken with operator one. Operator two is Fidget's best friend now. Sometimes, at least a third time the charm, second time the charm for operator for uh, Fidget right now. And it is seven to two. The lead going into the second half will belong to Dominguez Hills no matter what. They've already broken over that kind of six round threshold where you guarantee a majority of the rounds. Uh, but all the same, with the momentum shifting back towards Northridge Red, you know Burgundy, who has all the money in the world to keep buying into these later rounds, they're going to want to get themselves back into a winning position very quickly as they will need to be attacking very soon, sooner than you might think. As Baby does get his ultimate off and able to get that information. Ares now on the right trying to side. go up. To your right, Ares. To your right. It looked like Ares <laughs> was behind him. Oh, there's Baby. He Ooh, finds it. Yep. There it was. That's how Baby already saw him before. That's happening, however. The action is over in the A site. Where it's Pulfuse who's got the plant down. Sagoma now looking to represent on that operator. This is a tough that's a tough Ooh, spot to try to use that gun in, and as you saw, Pulfuse shutting it down. Sappho being taken out by Omaru. It's looking really good here for North Mad Red. And then Pofu switching, baby. And then Fidget again, baby. Baby. And I don't remember who's on Breach. I think Pofu is on. Uh... Yeah, oh, there it is. It, they was art. it was art right there. He was spraying around each other until one finally gets the shot off. It's like that. Three rounds in a row now for Northridge Red. So, what did you guys see that? Are adapting now. How are they um, kind of making up for those first seven rounds that they lost? Get the spike? Fidget got his, uh, his operator back and then started shooting people. That that does help a lot, and I, <laughs> it, seems, <laughs> it seems like they're not being as aggressive because these are long hallways. So if one person's Don't set up, back. you're gonna see them from a mile away and get those shots off if they're not ready. So yeah. I think that's where they're adapting to as well as not running right into the straight hallway where somebody's probably no watching. Yeah, as you saw right there, right? That's exactly how Omaru just died. Just died. Just Walked into the sights of Bay V, who has cleaned it up. And this is now more like what we were seeing in those earlier rounds where uh, Dominguez Hills was winning. Was It was uh, disjointed and kind of clumsy pushes from Northridge Red, which we have not come to expect from them, and which weren't happening these past three rounds. They were pushing in a much more concentrated effort. It was much harder for a single Vanguard to get one kill. And then you see this, Baby got a kill there and then was able to separate, 
get over to another area, set up, take another fight, right? They were basically two 1v1s. That wasn't happening for the past three rounds. It wasn't a 1v1. It was a 1v1 split second into 1v3. And if you fall, you know, then the, the attacking side is just going to mob over your body and they're going to press a forward into the area. Ooh. And Poe fused with the headshot on BT. Fidget looking to find a spot here. It looks like it was a long delayed action before moving over to the B site. Northridge did a great job to take as much blood left. as they could from Dominguez Hills in that early engagement near the A site. But it was always a plan to get over here towards B and now force Bad Dog and Sappho to find their way over the long way as Bad Dog luckily able to turn that corner without losing their life as Fidget just off on the operator. We'll flash out here, Bad Dog trying to make something happen, but it's Spaghetti's third kill of the round instead. And Sappho once again left alone to try to navigate this 3v1. And Spaghetti with a 4K ending this round. It's carrying another win. Four rounds in a row. This, this is the CSUN Red we've been expecting. Yeah. yeah. This was definitely the one. This is more like it. I, I, If you had told me this was the score going in, I would have assumed Northridge was going to be ahead 7 to 4. But this kind of like just, you know, I don't know. I don't, you know, back and forth in terms of like one streak versus another streak. I would not have assumed it. I wouldn't have guessed it. I was very confused to see uh, Northridge be so sloppy to initiate with, but it looks like they've woken up, and now it's on Dominguez Hills to put themselves back in the position. And, you know, I'm, I'm hearing your question, McRib, and, I, and I'll, I'll try to phrase it as I answer it. You know, <laughs> what, why did Dominguez Hills get out to such a lead, and why are they falling behind? I honestly, I feel like, you know, you're you're, you're only as strong as your best gun. As you see Omaru doing a great job there on Sappho. Wow, what a shot. Um, but BT was doing so well early, right? BT had so much aggression, so many kills, wasn't getting taken out. Sagoma was looking wonderful. And they've kind of slowed down. They've been caught out of position and unaware. As we do here, Wait, BT does hear that flash go off. Your belt. Oh, that's right, right there. Behind them. BT getting behind them, and they were not them. able to do anything. That's the positioning. That is the positioning. A wonderful flank. Spaghetti. I think it was Spaghetti initially who was like looking that way, but definitely wasn't anticipating somebody coming. And then if it was Spaghetti who who saw and Pofus had no shot as their back was to the door. And you saw that uh, with BT heard the flash go off and just waited there, waited for his perfect moment to strike, and he didn't. He got two off waiting. Switching so sides. sometimes patient is a virtue in Valorant. Hmm? No. We are uh, we are at the second half now, eight to four. Dominguez Hills Burgundy would definitely call this an upset uh, as far as looking at the uh, the standings. And well, you know, it's you know a long think, it's a long uh, way towards the end of this uh, game. But what are you gonna say there, Ben? I said, you know what I think Brad needs to do. And they need to get their compression gloves on because <laughs> they need to get their hands warm, their fingers warm. You know, they need to get their flicks back on. It comes yeah. down to those compression gloves. There. Gotta tighten up like some insurance. You know what I'm saying? got to tighten up, but we'll see whether or not that happens or whether Dominguez Hills will be able to solidify themselves with a really strong win as we go into the playoffs. They're not going to be able to compete for that grand immortal prize, but still want to go out as winners. You still want to do your best. Aries now operating in the same spot Bay V was earlier. Getting the kills there as Pofus also takes out Bay V, who I mentioned. As we already have going a 5-3 to three, starting yeah. off. There's it does BT going down. And Bad Dog's low on health as well, so this is going to be really oh, tough. Fuse with the three flawless coming into this next round, ending this one, going into next now. I know DH. I feel like DH is going to win at least the next, at least this next round, and maybe the round after because the their pistol game is on point, and they how they run it seems like they just know what they're doing with their pistols. Well, they're going to need to be on point then. They're going into an eco disadvantage here against Northridge Red. They're attacking into a team that seems... It looks like at least Northridge has now gotten much more comfortable. It looks like maybe... Uh, you mentioned San Jose State uh, in an earlier match um, not looking very good on Icebox to start out with McRib. Maybe we were seeing you know, a more exaggerated example of that as Northridge has certainly settled in to the round if they were uncomfortable with the map. They do not look like it right now. Yeah, got the sights up in heaven. There's the flash out. There's the opening shots. Sugoma able to clean up before or after BT falls. Oh, 
That's unfortunate. Let's think Bridget missed the jump. <laughs> and Oaru getting on Sappho. But Sagoma's trading it back. Sagoma looked like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Just like following Homura as they tried to get the healing off. It's like, no, I will not have any more of your dark magic. But now it's Bad Dog alone. Oh, there's one. Oh, I. But there yeah, no. goes the. But the, the spike is already. Oh, this is no, no, no. Yep. Nope, they got it. They got yeah. it. Yep. Northridge, uh. It's two rounds straight here. We'll see if the buy comes through. It looks like they will. Bad Dog and Sappho with early investments, baby, to follow. So we're going to get a full buy here from Dominguez Hills. Unless BT is feeling a certain type of way. No, there's a rifle. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Like, maybe BT want to save up for an operator, but it looks but like we're just going to get the full buy. Fidget's just going in with an operator, so we could see him starting to turn around now. Yeah, love to get eyes on Fidget here as we open this up. We mentioned one of the issues that I was having with Northridge uh, that I saw in their strategy was that they were not playing well against an operator. And now it's Spaghetti up in the A site, as it is another A site push to initiate here from Dominguez Hills Burgundy. As, they do, as we do see the Breeze trying to set up for that flash. It's a slow one, a careful one. Ari sighted somebody up on top, decided to get that information back and then double back around. Here we go, here we go, we got the Boomba. Sagoma takes out Ares. The Boomba's getting out into the area, pushing towards, creating some room on the site, but it's Spaghetti who gets a kill on Sagoma. Baby Ooh, able to step baby, forward. Baby switching it up on Fidget, who had the operator. That was a heavy investment, especially this early into the round and this early into this last With half. The Double kill there, takes out Baby and Bad Dog. BT looked the wrong way, was able to flip towards Pulse and do that as Sappho plants. Spike planted. It is a 2v1, nope. but Omru has a great position to try to pull this off. If they can get one, Ooh, no! Staff road taking out Omaru as he is distracted by BT in the corner of a shooting at him. Bit of a miss, uh, missed, uh, you know, a missed retake situation there for Omru as they focused on Sappho correctly to begin with. They looked off without securing the kill, right? And exposed their flank. Uh, that's a that's an issue, especially if you're moving down like that. You really have to clear the spot that you're going to be landing in, as you you can't engage in a second fight without finishing your first one. You're just going to get you're going to get shot in your ass. I'm I'm just going to keep it real. They're not going to shoot you there because it's lower damage. They're probably going to aim for like your upper back of your head, but in reality, you're just going to get shot in the ass. So you know, watch your back. Be like. Something bit me, something bit me. Something gonna jump up and bite you, that is correct. <laughs> and now Maru trying to get just trying to get the shots off as a gun was like, nah, you ain't got it. Bad dog takes out Aries. It's a low eco rounds here for Northridge Red, and they are suffering for it thus far. So it looks like it's gonna be a B side plant here. See Sappho putting it down. Now bad dog sitting way up on the top. BT takes out Fidget. Gotta love it when your jet kills their jet. Spaghetti knows that there's a kill joy. Or knows that there, yeah, knows there's a kill joy somewhere. Seems like all the people on Reds are on DH that are taking damage, but none of them died yet. So it could be another flawless. As BT is out on the hunt for him. But Bay V able to clean it up on Pofuse. As that is. Wait, did we just get? Some in so many like. Um, like, um, low ground fights, you know, like, I'm always seeing DH, like, getting these, like, super convenient high ground positions and, like, shooting down. So I'm just yeah. like, <sighs> it's heartbreaking. There, there's a lot of high points in this map, and I think it, you know, this is since Icebox has new. It is new, and so the awareness, the map awareness, the map knowledge is still every team i feel like is still getting it but those who have definitely put more in hours or more time into playing on it it shows right now spaghetti taking a lot of damage you just mentioned it McRib. spaghetti had the higher ground there but still they are the one who limps off with low health and relatively fewer damage taken on the side of dominguez hills so now we're going to get sugoma here on the raise we're going to get anything oh there's the target Gets it and off, and there's Pulpius going down. So Goma cleaning up with Spaghetti. Yeah, no, I love to see it. There you go, be like your favorite ultimate as Sugoma comes in behind Fidget. Or not. Wait, I, I, I was seeing it wrong, but never mind. Baby cleans it up on Ares. Someone's going behind someone. 
<laughs> I was going somewhere. That's that's all I knew. It's been uh, it's Sagoma has done well this round uh this half uh, and you see right now 19 and 11. But just gotta shout out the fact that the Pumba has been useful in this uh half and the the ult was useful in this half. Sagoma making raids almost look viable. You gotta love it. Shout out to the people too trying to make raids work out. I appreciate y'all. Yes. <laughs> Is Always make it. Piece. That's how you get Eli. A sh that's how you get a shout out from Eli. So you play raise and you get the ultimate off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You play raise and then don't get cussed at by your teammates. I will. I will shout you out to the high heaven. <laughs> Catch me on Sova trying to trying to be just bare bones useful. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, and now BT got an opening kill. Sugoma kills Spaghetti. So now three v five again. Dominguez Hills has responded beautifully to what was a game slipping away as they fell. Uh, you know, they fell in that first, uh, that first pistol round, but as you mentioned, Ben, they have just kind of, like, responded extremely well since then. They've just been very comfortable. They have, yes, and that's what, that's what keeping them strong right now. As we see Baby just, it looks like he's just going for a long flank, just taking his time. He knows he's comfortable, he knows he's where his shots are gonna be. As Baby, and Mad Dog cleans it up on Fidget. Now we are on match point here. Dominguez Hills Burgundy looking match incredible. Point. They started out with a 7-0 winning streak. They were looking incredible. Looked like they were gonna march in and take it no problem. And then uh, Northridge Red responded, won four rounds straight, ended the half 7-5. Things looked grim. And here it is, Dominguez Hills. And this match is, point. I, I do enjoy this example of Technically, an underdog taking it for the win as yeah. CSUN is higher on the leaderboards, but DH Burgundy had, a, had some good sleep last night. So, you see right there, look what happened with Fidget trying to use that operator. See the smokes, see the utility out there to kind of negate Fidget's advantage in that situation as it is. Instead, Spaghetti and Omaru working in uh, A site. Doing well, and that's a spike down. It's gonna be dangerous now because if they let Fidget know the spike is down and Fidget puts the operator sights on it, you'll be hard pressed to find that as you see Bad Dog on the wrong side of an operator. Yeah. Ooh, and Ooh. BT cleaning it up on Ares though. No problemo. Okay, now I'm curious to see what the goal here is for BT. As they are around the B site, they don't yeah, have the spike, right? So they're just kind of like hoping to get lost in the map and maybe, I don't know, we might get some Rambo action going on here. You know, he maybe gets so lost in the sauce that he finds the sauce and then he comes back. Unless Fidget is looking directly at... Oh my god. Here's BT coming on the bottom. Ooh. Saw him not through the bottom of his scope. And just played the safer route to just get the hell out of the way. 30 Set back up and see if you can get a second sight. Oh. There it is. Fidget taking out BT. I was gonna say, if BT clutches this, I think it's definitely worth the full name shout out. Oh yeah, that would have been it. 100%. Well, As we... now we see Sagoma buying the operator. We see everyone else kidding up, getting their full weapons. The loss bonus will trickle in here for Dominguez Hills. They already have a lot of money, so they're going to be fine buying up for the next couple of rounds. And they can't lose in regulation. It will have to go to overtime in order for Northridge Red here. to win this. So the economy looks good for Dominguez Hills to begin with. Seems like it's already already is starting up pretty strong. It's gonna be an aggressive push from CSUN red side as we do see Ray's jumping on top of the crate. It does And Omaru oh, no, her, hearing it Ooh. getting the kill on Sagoma. Oh no baby! Oh the no baby getting, coming from behind. Now it's three V three. Okay, oh, now wow. Omaru got two kills on two people who had just gotten killed. So Omru got back-to-back -back revenge kills before Bad Dog uh, took them out. That is actually, the timing of that just kind of blows my mind. He's just waiting for, he, Bad Dog sees that Fidget was up there. And that is dangerous, because Fidget does have that operator. But Mad Dog able to take out Spaghetti. Now it's all up to Fidget, as Fidget does try to go with the Blade Storm, not able to get any, any kills off that. Fidget taking out Mad Dog. Or bad dog with the with the op with the operator i mean granted that that is fidget specialty you get a long hallway like that who's gonna win an operator yeah, you see the gun you know you where got... they're at 
Yes, he did get the. Oh, does he have time? He doesn't have time. Uh, he doesn't have time. Yes. It's over. It is definitely over. He's gonna go for the defuse. And there's nothing to do about it. That's it. Sappho cleans up on Fidget. Attackers winning 13 to 7. DH taking it for the win. The underdogs coming back. As it feels like it's a, it's a feels good moment. Dominguez Hills, what a what a wonderful game they set themselves up as we get closer into the playoffs. Something to really feel good about. Sagoma getting back to the form, back to the Sagoma that we were all simping for at the beginning of the okay. season. The one that we were all lauding with praise and Bay V, BT taking it as well, looking really good right there. Uh, you know, that's the Dominguez Hills we saw early on. And that's the one we, we wondered if they were going to be contending for an upper bracket. We wonder if they were going to be hanging out with San Diego State and San Jose State. Unfortunately for them, they did kind of fall behind uh, throughout the course of the regular season, but there's still a prize to be played for. There's still something for them to fight for. And it looks like they are in fighting form. This was awesome to see. I mean, you know, as we said, we all were sipping for them in the beginning. They were playing very well, and then they kind of fell off. And now this is where we want to see them again. They're finally coming back, playing as a team, playing as a unit, a solid unit. You know, that's big chungus. That's how we want to see it. <laughs> but it is. I will say, we all said that DH was a team that like came alive halfway through. And again, it's nice to see them really like be confident in this new map be confident in each other and like have that synergy going from the beginning yeah starting yes. strong definitely mm -hmm. yeah, getting out to that lead instead of having to you know play well to make up for it you do you do the work for yourself instead of putting yourself you know on the back foot and giving yourself a disadvantage uh it definitely helps to get out strong for them uh for northridge red who i would I, I don't feel bad to say we expected more out of, to be honest. We did. You never expect a team that strong to fall behind 7-0. Um, all that said, they've got more to play for. They need to tighten up. Uh, I would be curious to see an updated leaderboard now to know where they are exactly because they might have something to play for in the last week. And that may be something that uh, we look into a little bit more deeply as we get close to the playoffs. But uh, regardless of whether they're in the Immortal or the Diamond, bracket as we just saw they're gonna need to come stronger than they did tonight if they want to make it into one of those you know prize pool placings they want to make it to the finals or whatever i think if they come as they did tonight you know straight off the bat straight out of the gate just confident making sure they know their plays know the map know the corners they are going to take they could take it no matter what bracket they land in they can definitely take it seeing how they played tonight that is a strong team play right there uh mcrib i know our night isn't over you mentioned we had three matches today so i'm about to ask you my favorite question <laughs> it's question time <laughs> <laughs> who do we have for the rest of the night so right after this match after our little break our little hydration and posture check break we'll be watching csulb versus sfsu and that will not be casted by this grand trio here nope. instead it will be casted by funny man and muted and then the match right after that will be csa fred versus sjsu so don't go anywhere absolutely we're gonna have a nice uh closing night session for you all some lovely valorant as we get closer and closer to the playoffs as McRib said, I will be signing off for the day, but I have been Eli the Curry. And I will see you on Friday. That's the that's the name. Yes, and I've been the OG bent. Still questioning why Kiwis are hairy. So we'll <laughs> see you all later. And I have been your host, Queen McRib. I will not be casting the next match, but I will be casting the third match with Funny Man and Muted. So and I'll be hanging out and chat with you guys for CSULB versus SFSU anyway. So I will see you guys after the break. Bye.